Hello the internet. It is Monday the 10th of October 2016. I'm still in Adelaide. I've got a bit of a cold. It's feel, I'm feeling pretty um. We're taking a drive down south to a place that I've heard lots about but I've never been. Lockie's with me. In fact, he's navigating a motor vehicle right now. How you going? Lockie, where are we going, man? Uh, we're going down to a block of land that's way out, uh, sort of near the end of the Flurio Peninsula. Sort of near the township of Delamere. And yeah, big right. paddock, basically. Lockie's told me about this place many, many times. You would know Lockie from seeing uh, previous vlogs back on tour with Tracer, this guy. But you wouldn't have seen him aside from that, I don't think. So here we are in our own country, exploring. I'm feeling hideous, the weather's hideous. That's not gonna stop us though, is it? Nah. No, it is not. No, it is not. I reckon it'll clear out, I reckon. I reckon there's a little microclimate down there and we should be all right. There's a bit of blue sky. Bit of blue sky, I think we're driving towards blue sky. Fingers crossed. That's mine. This is your My Ponga Dam. My Ponga, strange name. The dam is full because Adelaide has had one hell of a lot of rain. What would you say the last two weeks, Lockie? Well, we had massive storms, I guess, nearly two weeks ago now where we had blackouts to the entire state. Ridiculous rain. There was flooding through Harndorf. Picture that, you have a storm with uh, so much rain and so much wind that the whole state loses power. Just completely blacked out. <laughs> have a look at the water in this dam. So this is Delamere, Lockie's parents' place. Well, Lockie's parents' retreat. It's just saying this is your parents' retreat, hey? Uh, yeah. Lockie, is this your doing? Ah, uh, that is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the Lucky tape. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more homely on this side of the fucking divider. Cozy. Thanks for bringing us up, man. Down, down, bringing us down. Down, up. Is it always windy? There's government wind turbines over there, so I suppose you don't put them in a quiet spot. <laughs> it's very windy here. The other week and it was actually calm and all the wind turbines had stopped. It's like when you're in England and you get a sunny day basically. It does happen. <laughs> very rare. When it's cold outside, warm you up. I'm not gonna knock back a knock and door. Wait, no. I am gonna knock back a knock and door. I'm not gonna knock back the knock and door if it's offered to me because that would be knocking it back and I'm gonna knock it back the other way you know what I'm getting at I'm a little bit ill but I'm gonna have a good time I'm not gonna let it affect me I got this duty free yes. last year I think I would have bought the same off the same shelf probably Dubai I would have thought yeah yeah is that enough no <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any Silly ice question. I could probably make some ice I might go on the ice making thing don't need ice with this man I know oh, I don't have ice anyway I hope uh, the sounds coming through you here because it's Windy as. I'm just explaining to Benin about uh, what we've got going on here. We're in the main paddock. This used to be basically cattle grazing land and we've got it as sort of a project and we're reforesting it. So these lines here, which are currently full of wildflowers, this is, this is what we call uh, direct seeding. Uh, some sort of a ute comes along with a plow on the back that digs up the soil and drops seed which they've collected from local trees into the ground so we've got just native wattles, gum trees, and bits and pieces like that. And so rather than going and actually digging a hole in the ground and planting tube stock, most of this has been planted almost agriculturally. Right. But as reforestation rather than, you know, harvesting. Nice. Shout out to Trees for Life. <laughs> These guys are native to Australia. They're just chilling there, so we'll leave them to their, to their business. We're animal friendly over here. See you later.
Sun is setting outside. Fire is cranking. Whiskey is ding is ding devoured. Whiskey is being devoured. That was an epic slur. <laughs> I'm still feeling a little bit um, but lucky nice fire, Cobber. I do like a fire. In case Lachlan's mum watches my vlog, <laughs> he lit this fire and did a bang up job. It was first go, first try, first fire. No fire lighter either. No fire New lighter. Newspaper, five sheets of newspaper and some sticks. Yeah. And some bark. You were, you were saying your mum taunts you for not being able to light fires? Yeah, she thinks I can't light fires, but I, I can light fires. Mrs. Lachlan, he can. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Lachlan. What have you got lined up there on the old TV there? I've got Tism, Shoddy and Poor, which is live at the Palace Theatre, 1988. I am a Tism fan. If I'm going to watch Tism, I'm going to need a drink. You know what drink I'm going to need? Ye old faithful Lagavulin. This is our Saturday night, on a Monday night. Well, it's Monday. It is, isn't it? It's a morning. It's another morning. It's the morning. It's the morning after the night that was happening before the morning happened. And it's another cold and kind of windy day down here in the Fluio Peninsula. I can never really say that word. Peninsula. Anyway, I'm still feeling a little bit um, kind of working through it. And I think we're going to go and have a look around. The area. Great place, Lucky. Really cool. It'd be great in the heat of summer as well. You want me to get the gate? Uh, yeah, yeah. if you could, man. I'm gonna get the gate. Whoa! I'm gonna trip over that and get the gate. Nice spot, Lockie. Where are we exactly? Where'd you bring us? I suppose this is probably Starfish Hill. Starfish Hill. So we're above Cape Jervis, basically. We're right at the end of the Flurio Peninsula. That over there is Kangaroo Island. And this is as closest I've ever been to a wind farm. Really here, it's swooshing. There's so much cool nature in this area down here. I mean, above us is a sea eagle. These things are predatory birds. They have their own terrain and they mark it. I was uh, filming and I think the eagle didn't like it. So we're gonna get out of here, leave him, leave him with his space and we'll go someplace else. Guten Morgens Beach. Look at these orange colored rocks down here. This is the edge of the continent of South Australia which is on the continent of Australia in the south. Why are these rocks orange, Lucky? I think it's moss. Moss. Let's have a closer look. Looks like rust though. Does look like rust. Doesn't come off at all. Weird. We just had a pie at the Normanville Bakery and uh, I was talking to the baker about the turbines, the wind turbines. Turns out he owns one and he said, I'm off after 2 p.m. and I want to take you guys to the wind turbine and take you up to the top so you can sit up there and see the view. So we're going to go and do that. Oh, that's um. We're out of time. <laughs> oh, hey. Thanks for checking out Gives a Minute my YouTube channel. It's the one you just watched. And if you liked it, there's a few things you can do. You could check out the previous minute here, a random minute there, or even the first minute there. 
Now, if you're a photographer like I am, you might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets. And you should also subscribe to the channel so you can continue to see what I'm up to. And the social stuff, hit that up as well. You know you want to. I'm not gonna do that this long this time. I've got a cold. Do all the things.